Welcome to Marquette, Michigan. Come with us as we explore the area and show you all the things we have grown to love about this vibrant city in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Let's start here, in Marquette's downtown. Whether it's good food, good beer, or good times, Marquette's downtown has just about anything that you would want to do. And located a couple hundred feet off of Lake Superior, it's bound to have breathtaking views no matter where you are. Some of our favorite places to visit are Black Rocks Brewery, which we thought had some of the best craft beer in town. Third Street Bagel, where we often visited for breakfast. An Iron Bay restaurant and drinkery. Amazing views combined with delicious cuisine. If you ever eat here, make sure to try their whitefish. While you're downtown, make sure to come and check out the Marquette Bay Breakwater. It definitely has the best views of Marquette downtown as well as the ore dock and beautiful views of Lake Superior. We also recommend that you take a walk on the Lakeside Trail. Um, you can either bike, walk, scooter. It's beautiful to look around and there's a lot to explore. Uh, we also recommend you come out and explore the Marquette Lighthouse. This is more if you're a history buff. You know, there's actually a tour you can take. I believe it goes three times every day where they take you inside the lighthouse and explain the significance of the lighthouse having to do with the town of Marquette. We are on our way up Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a pretty easy hike. There's stairs just about everywhere, and it's a really well-traveled path. There's a lot of other people here other Lots than us. Lots of people. We are just about at the top. We've been hiking for not even 10 minutes, so it's pretty easy to get up. We made it to the top. Look at this gorgeous view. That's a really cool view over there. And then over that away, you can see the red rocks under the trees in the lake. That is the hidden beach. We definitely recommend if you guys have the time to do the hog's back hike. It is quite longer than Sugarloaf. I mean, you'll be up this mountain in 20, 25 minutes. With that one, it might be an hour and a half. But if you have time, we definitely recommend you check it out. Yes. We made it to Hidden Beach. Uh, Luke had to patch together from videos that we had seen how to get here. And we found the trail, we found the area, we made it, it's beautiful. We're gonna take you under some cliffs. We definitely recommend you wear a pair of sneakers to get out to the beach and then just a towel to dry your shoes off. It's not super easy to get out here. I feel like we can't stress that enough. Yeah, don't wear sandals. it hurt your feet. Twist your ankle. But yeah, this place is great. There's pretty much no one here and it's a busy Saturday afternoon, which normally there's a lot of tourists in town this time of day. So You can't visit the UP without visiting a waterfall or two. We're going to Morgan Falls. Um, it's on a fire road that's well maintained. Um, it's about a mile up. It's a super easy bike ride or really leisurely stroll. Nothing, nothing hard at all. All right, let's get going. All right, we made it to the 
the waterfall. on the Marquette Mountain lookout and Marquette Mountain is a destination in itself you have several places along the mountain with absolutely beautiful views and endless hiking trails and mountain biking trails it's a super great place to spend your time while you're here it's beautiful cool about most of the vistas in Marquette is you can see the other vistas and also other major landmarks around the town. If you look over there that's Hogsback, Sugarloaf is just to the right of it, Presque Isle is over there, you can see both ore docks, the inactive one in downtown and the active one out by Presque Isle. You can even see the hospital out there, you can see the lighthouse, I don't know if it can show up on the camera but you can see the red lighthouse and the wave break and Superior Dale. just a beautiful area. It's amazing. The last stop in Marquette is Presque Isle State Park. There's so much to explore here, but if you only had time to see one thing, it should be the breathtaking sunset over the waters of Lake Superior.